This video will focus on measuring to the nearest one eighth of an inch. Now, in second grade, you worked on measuring to the nearest inch, all right? And then in third grade, you worked on measuring to the nearest half inches. And then in third grade as well, you also worked on measuring to the nearest uh, quarter inches. And now what we're gonna do in fourth grade is work on measuring to the nearest eighth of an inch. So remember back in third grade, you would take a number line and you would have to break it into eighths or six. So that's kind of what you'll be doing as you are trying to measure to the nearest eighth or fourth or half. You'll really think about look at that denominator and pay attention to if I want to measure it to the nearest eighth, then I'm looking at every little line here. If I'm measuring it to the nearest fourth, I want to look at by my halfway and then the halfway mark on each side. Nearest half is dead center right in the middle. And if I'm near measuring to the nearest inch, I'm just looking at my whole numbers here, okay? All right. So we're going to practice first with this, and then we'll actually look at measuring with an actual ruler as well. Now do remember when you work with the ruler, there is a centimeter side and there is an inches side. So make sure you're choosing the correct one. You also want to make sure that when you are measuring with a ruler, that you look at the edge of your ruler. See here where the ruler doesn't start measuring until that line? So if I'm going to measure with this ruler, then I want to make sure I line it up right there and not at the end down here. That would throw your measurement off. Some rulers will start at the end. This one does not. There's a little bit of space, so you want to make sure that you line it up right there, okay? But first, we're going to start with the index card, just to make it a little easier. So I'm going to measure the Twix bar. And if I look at this ruler, I can see that I'm starting at the end of it, okay? So I'm gonna start it at the end there, and I want to go to the nearest eighth of an inch. So I can see that it's one whole inch, two whole inches, and then I'm gonna kinda look at this and see how many eighth of an inch it is. All right, so I can see two and one eighth, two and two eighths, two and three eighths, two and four eighths, which is two and a half, two and five eighths, two and six eighths. So the length of that Twix bar is two and six eighths of an inch. So two and six eighths of an inch. All right. Now, what if I wanted to measure that with oops, the ruler? Okay, so I get my ruler. Remember now with this ruler, I start at the line. So I'm gonna line it up right there. Once again, I can see, oops, it likes to slide on me. It's so one full inch, two full inches, and then I can see that it's, I'm gonna go ahead and start here because I know that that's four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. Now, you see these little lines between my eighths? Those are my sixteenths. We're not gonna worry about uh, measuring to the sixteenths, so you have to look at your ruler and see. Now, the way I do that is I'm looking at this inch, okay? And so if I can count every little mark, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I count that all the way up to the one, and there's 16, then I know my ruler measures to 16. So when it does that, then I kind of have to skip those little bitty lines. And so then I would skip that line, one eighth, skip that line, two eighths, skip that line, three eighths, skip that line, four eighths, okay? So look at your ruler. Sometimes they have 16 and sometimes they do not, but this one does. Now we're gonna move on to the crackers. All right, once again, I'm gonna start with my index card. You can make one of these if you want, or you can start with a ruler as well. Sometimes you can find some online where you can blow it up and that will help. So looking at this ruler that I made, I have to start at the end because that's how this ruler is set up. And I am going to see that it's one full inch, two full, two full inches, three, so three and one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, uh, sorry, not fours, three and one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, and six eighths again. So three and six eighths of an inch. Look at there, they're both just an inch difference uh, between those two. So um, that would be it with the index card that I used. And then just to model with a ruler. Now remember with this ruler, I have to start at that line, not at the end. One full inch, two full inches, three. And I know that that's four eighths there, that halfway mark. Skip the itty bitty, five eighths, skip it, 
6 eighths, so 3 and 6 eighths. So now you're going to try measuring with your own ruler to the nearest eighth of an inch. Um, find some objects around your house or your teacher may give you some things that they want you to measure. Remember measuring to the nearest eighth. Think about how that um, can be broke up in between eight parts. And if your ruler has those tiny little marks, you'll have to ignore them. Count over to the hole and it'll tell you if you have, if it goes to the sixteenths or the eighths. Also make sure that you are not using the centimeter side of your ruler. You are using the eighths. Good luck.